Generic greetings. Welcome to the Potts House General Purpose Podcast, Episode 1. Today's subject, Learning to Listen. Subtitle, What I Heard on My Summer Vacation, by Little Paul R. Potts, age 40. So, this past summer, along with microphones and other recording gear, I acquired a Sony PCM D50 portable recorder. This is a little box with built-in microphones that does high-quality audio recording directly to flash memory. The microphones in this thing are very sensitive, and you can add a lot of gain to make sounds that are normally below the threshold at which we would notice them seem very loud. It's interesting to hear what this device picks up with its ears that are much more inherently objective than my ears. If you add a few lithium AA batteries to this thing, you've got a handheld device that will make hours of remarkable field recordings and let you upload them directly to your computer. So for this first episode of my general purpose podcast, I'm going to share with you a little bit of what I heard on my summer vacation and talk a little bit about listening. My father and stepmother came to visit from California. We packed the three kids and four adults into two cars and all drove up north to Grand Marais, Michigan, on Lake Superior, and rented a house for a week. Grand Marais is a small and quiet town with a harbor and breakwater and a beautiful public beach, not to mention a great classic diner and a brew pub and friendly residence. The town motto is Nature in Abundance, and that is certainly accurate. They get 300 inches of snow a year. It has become our favorite getaway spot. It's about 400 miles, or about a seven-hour drive, from our home in Ann Arbor. Wind is interesting to record, because wind does not make sound. You hear the sound of the objects it presses against and rubs against, vibrating. This is the sound of the beach in Grand Marais. The sound of wind in trees is really the sound of individual leaves banging and rattling together. This is the sound of a squeaky swing set in a small playground just back from the beach amid sand dunes anchored by beach grass. Insects are interesting to record. I spent some time flat on the ground trying to record bees. I was hoping that a big bumblebee would land directly on the recorder and sound like a 747, but that didn't really work out.
When a microphone picks up wind, it's the sound of dramatic pressure changes causing the microphone element to resonate or even slap around inside the microphone, but it's not the sound of the wind itself. You're really hearing a tiny plastic diaphragm being jerked around or a tiny plastic cylinder resonating like a little pipe organ. Footsteps don't really make any sound by themselves either. What you get is the slap of the foot on different things, and the sound the things make as your foot pushes them around or grinds them together. This is a walk across the sand and gravel of the Grand Marais breakwater to Lake Superior. This is the sound of Lake Superior from the concrete part of the breakwater. One thing I learned from doing this recording is that there are almost always cars within earshot, and they are almost always annoying. We tune them out, but it's interesting to really listen to them. This is the sound of a motorcycle coming up the road to the cottage we rented.
With my headphones and recorder, I got a lot of questions, but I was amused to find out that the people at the laundromat in Munising were completely unfazed and didn't even blink when I would walk up to their machines and hold this device, recording the sound of their laundry being washed and dried. visited Munising Falls, which is a small but beautiful waterfall in the woods. We also visited Tequamanon Falls. This is a much larger set of falls. The upper falls have several observation decks with stairs, and the lower falls have a very long boardwalk that snakes through the woods.
That's all from the first Potts House General Purpose Podcast. I hope this has met your general purpose podcasting needs, and thank you for listening with me.